guys, in today's video, I'll be showing how to achieve this makeup look here. I wanted to do a look that is more colorful but still wearable. So I came up with this soft lilac smoky eye. I really, really like this color. It's one of my favorite. I wanted to do lilac eyes for so long and I'm so happy that I finally did. I also applied some intense inner corner highlight, which is giving me life right now. <laughs> and I pair all that with a nude pinkish lipstick so i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and if you do please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get started so i already applied my foundation and i did my eyebrows now some of you requested a foundation routine and i have that coming up very soon you can also click here if you want to watch my eyebrow tutorial so now i'm going to conceal my under eye area and for that i'll be using two concealers first i'm going with the maybelline super stay 24 hours concealer in shade light beige glare and then on top of it i'm going to apply the la girl pro conceal in shade porcelain and i'm blending them out with my beauty blender I'm setting them really quickly with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in shade Transparent. Now I'm going to do the eye makeup and then I'll go back to the face. And the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyelids. I'll be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm using the Sigma E58 brush to apply it from the lash line all the way up to the brow bone. From the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, I'm going to take this shade right here, it's called Innocent. And with a MAC 217 brush, I'm going to apply it in my crease. And this is going to be my transition shade. Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Eyes Like Angels palette. I can't get enough of this palette, you guys. I love it so much. All the shades are so pretty. There is not even one that I don't like. You can see how much I've been using it. I even hit pan here. All the shades are so pigmented. Look at that. If you like wearing more of a metallic eyeshadows, you're going to love this palette. Okay, so now I'm taking this shade right here. I had the paper with the names of the shades, but it disappeared somewhere. And I can't really tell you the name of the eyeshadow. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I broke my nail terribly like two weeks ago and as you can tell it's still shorter than the other ones but it's so much easier to apply your makeup when you don't have long nails <laughs> I guess that's the only good thing about it so now I want to give a little bit more dimension to my eyes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to apply it just in the outer portion of my eyelid and I'm doing that with the Sigma E57 brush I'm taking again that MAC 217 brush and with no additional product in it, I'm just going to diffuse the edges of the purple eyeshadow into the crease. Okay, so now I want to give a really bright highlight in the inner corner and for that I'll be using this shade here. This shadow is very intense. I'm going to apply also some of it on my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm going to do some winged liner and I'll be using my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. I'm applying it with the Essence Precise Eyeliner Brush. Now I'm going to glue on some falsies off camera really quickly and I'll be back. Okay, so the upper lid area is basically ready. Now I'm going to put some color underneath my lower lash line. I'll be using this shade right here with a Sigma E30 brush. I'm just going to run it underneath my lower lash line. I don't think that I'm going to apply anything on my waterline. I just like it the way it is now. Okay, going back to the face, I'm going to contour slash bronze with my favorite this is the best contouring and bronzing powder for fair skin tones i just can't find something that is better than this this is the makeup revolution ultra sculpt and contour kit i'll be using the jessup large powder brush to apply it on my face
I'm also going to apply some on the top of my forehead. So next is blush and I'll be using this one here by Sigma. It's called Nymphea. And then I'm going to highlight my face with the Mary Luminizer by The Bum. And I'll be using the Jessup Tapered Highlighter Brush. Then I'm lining my lips with the Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in shade Vintage Rose. And then I'm going with the Bourjois Rouge Edition Lipstick in shade O2. I want it to be a little bit more pinky, so on top of it, I'm going to apply this pretty smart lip gloss by The Bum, and it's called Zap. By the way, I forgot to mention that the lashes I'm wearing today are from the H&M. I went to their store and I saw that they had really cool styles, so I decided to take a couple of pairs. And I can't really tell you which style I'm wearing right now because I throw out the packaging. This is not the full style, I actually trim half of it, so you know they're like kind of a corner lashes. This is my first time trying out their lashes, but yeah, so far I really like them, they're very comfortable and they're also super affordable. Thumbs up. I haven't used anything of their makeup products, but I have tried some of their brushes. I have this one here. From the one side it's like a blending brush, and from the other it's an angled brush. I really like it, it's a good quality for the price. So yeah, enough for the H&M. I just wanted to mention where are my lashes from, because I know you all guys ask. So yeah, this is the completed look. I really love that lilac color on my eyes, and the fact that the eyeshadow is a little bit shimmery, it makes it even more beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram and Facebook. I upload some close-up photos there of my makeup and some really cool quick eye makeup tutorials. So definitely go and check it out. I will have the links down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye!